Today on RBI, we're going to the mat with Zach Brunson, junior wrestler here for the Illini. Zach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, I got to tell you right off the bat, I hardly recognize you because, you know, not that you're bald like me, but <laughs> where did your hair go? And, and the goatee, I saw something on Twitter. Your, your teammate, Isaiah Martinez, uh, kind of clipped your goatee, huh? Well, it's, a, it's kind of a summer tradition for uh, all of us athletes. Uh, uh, on the wrestling team, uh, right. we're not allowed to have facial hair when we compete, and uh, it's hard to wrestle with long hair, so we all kind of grow it out and get our beards going. Uh, but your season's coming around, we kind of got to get a little focus and get rid of all the uh, excess hair on our heads. Got to be clean shaven, but mm -hmm. I, as I was looking at that video, was that like in your apartment bathroom? Yes, He yes. had the scissors out and he's clipping that, you look like you lost your best friend. Did you shed a tear? I was sad, I was sad. <laughs> I had been uh, growing that since March, and uh, Isaiah's been wanting to cut it since March, so... Uh, it was a great opportunity for him, but I was, uh, I've was been missing it since. Man, that was like, I, I felt for you because you looked so sad there. They'd have to tie you down to uh, cut that thing. And it was, it was pretty long. It was, it was, I had it going. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it was, it, was, it was a long due. So uh, sad I miss it, but now I'm kind of, kind of glad it's gone. You know, I'm ready to get focused and, and feel, uh, get the feel season yourself, going. Feel yourself, you know, you're back to your, your game face, if you will, right? Exactly. Yeah, and, and you had to all, cut the locks, too, because that was getting a little lengthy. That was, like, down to your shoulders. Yeah, yeah, it was getting long, and uh, it was starting to get in my face when I was competing and stuff like that. But, I mean, it looked great, but uh, now uh, season's coming, and I'm not too worried about my looks, and uh, I'm a little bit more worried about how I'm going to be competing, so I like to keep it nice and short. And being disciplined is really a bedrock of your sport and how you compete. Right. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm a firm believer that wrestling is uh, the toughest sport there is, and and, and uh, to be at that top level, the level of discipline and uh, you have to have in all areas of your life is uh, unbelievable. Uh, you're starting your your third year competing, fourth year on campus mm -hmm. here at the U of I. Uh, what are your uh, expectations uh, and and your personal goals you're setting for this season, as well as for the team? My expectations for myself is to go and win a national title. You know, uh, that's been my goal since I was nine years old and it's still my goal this day and uh, I expect to do it and then as far as our, our team I think we have a very competitive team uh, we've had good years these last three years but not what we as a team expect we ex uh, as a team we expect to go to the NCAAs and win it uh, and uh, I think we have the caliber of athletes to do it so since you were nine years old you've been dreaming of being a NCAA champion, a collegiate champion wrestler? Absolutely. You know, when I was, uh, when I was real young, I got to watch the NCAAs on TV, and I got to uh, go to the University of Oregon's wrestling meets back when they had wrestling, and uh, it's, it's all I ever wanted to get to strap up a NCAA-level singlet and, and get to wrestle out there and compete. You know, these guys were like super, superheroes to me mm -hmm. and uh, have been my role models since. So you grew up in the great northwest in Oregon. How did you end up here in central Illinois, uh, you know, on the mat grappling for the fight in the line eye. Well, uh, growing up, I always wanted to wrestle for the University of Oregon, but in a uh, unfortunate turn of events, mm -hmm. they dropped the program. It was really heartbreaking. But uh, the coaches here at uh, University of Illinois saw something in me, and uh, uh, they uh, started a recruiting process, and I got out here into Champaign. I loved the team. I loved the community. I loved the coaches, and uh, it was a perfect fit for me, and I couldn't be happier. Uh, in terms of the environment, it's a, probably a little bit different from growing up in Oregon, but what what drew you to Champaign-Urbana to this campus, and how did you fall in love with it? it it's really the community. Um, you know, uh, the community here loves the campus. They love the uh, academics, the athletics here. Uh, they really support the Illini. And then uh, the team we had, we have a group of guys who are really all bought in mm -hmm. to, to not just wrestling, but to each other. You know, we treat each other like family, and uh, that's these are opportunities that you, you don't get to see at very many teams. You, you mentioned the word family, and I, I want to go back to Isaiah. I know he recently lost his father. Mm -hmm. um, how did you, as his brothers, uh, his Illini brothers, step in to really be there for him and help him through that difficult time? Um, you know, it, what happened to Isaiah is very unfortunate, and, and my thoughts are with Isaiah and his family. And uh, But Isaiah knew going in, uh, and we all know, everyone on our team knows that if we're ever going through difficult times, uh, everyone on the team is there for him. We're closer than uh, friends could be. You know, mm -hmm. these coaches are uh, here for these athletes. And, and although Isaiah already knew it, we made it, uh, everyone on the team made it explicitly clear, both uh, in person and through uh, messages, that mm -hmm. if he ever needed anything, uh, we were all there for him. And, uh, and that will always stand for, you know, for the rest of his life. You know, as soon, when he moves on, he will, this team will always still be there for him. But um, uh, I think a lot with him, I think... Uh, 
it's good the season's coming around. I think uh, wrestling's going to be a good thing for him to help him uh, move past. How do you balance your academics with the dedication you have to have to be an elite level wrestler at the at the collegiate ranks? Uh, it's incredibly difficult. Um, you know, the University of Illinois is a top notch academic school, and they expect uh, a lot of every student. Uh, but a lot of it is just staying disciplined. You can't be uh, just like in wrestling, you can't procrastinate. You mm -hmm. you you uh, have to have a set schedule, and you have to stick to it. And and you've been obviously very good at that from what you've been able to accomplish. Uh, are are you uh, going to be wrestling about one seventy four again? Yep, one seventy four. So speaking of that, I'm having problems making weight myself. Can can you give me some tips? On what, what do I need to do to make weight? Uh, I don't I, think I was one seventy four. I think I was in the fifth grade. I mean, how can I? <laughs> I wish I could help you, but um, there's a big difference between. Uh, Diet and uh, making weight, you know, uh, we all, the wrestlers have an incredibly strict diet and we're incredibly healthy people, uh, but then it's a little bit, there's some, you know, tricks to the trade when it mm. comes to making weight and doing it in a way that is healthy and uh, uh, isn't damaging to the body. Um, there's, uh, you know, you see a lot of guys at the wrestling uh, who, who cut corners with their mm -hmm. making, uh, or cutting weight, and uh, it shows in the long run. You know, mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't make weight the right way just because it's healthy, because we do it also because it's effective. And it's the guys who are winning matches in March are the ones who have been cutting weight the right way all season. How tough is that, though, being a college student, to not be tempted by things that can get you off your program? <laughs> uh, it's incredibly tough. You know, uh, the the opening of the uh, the varsity room feeding us makes it so much easier because they give us so many good options. Before that, you know, it was it was hard not to go down to Green Street and uh, pick something a little bit. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, I mean, you are you are, you are yeah. in college. I mean, yeah. on a and, weekend and, night, you want to go out and have a little fun, and you have to like. Remind yourself, hey, I've got bigger goals I'm trying mm -hmm. to achieve, and I don't want to, I don't want to waste it or throw it away, right? Yeah, and a lot of the upperclassmen do an excellent job of uh, passing down, you know, how to properly uh, cook your own food and what what is eating right and what's expected when it comes to diet. Because uh, as a team, when it, uh, not just when it comes to competing on the mat, we have incredibly high expectations when it comes to making weight. Guys are expected to eat every meal. Guys are expected to, uh, uh, you know, be hydrated when they compete. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an expectation that they'll both make weight and do do it the right way. When you go to a restaurant or you're at a salad bar, or, you know, somebody puts some veggies down. When you see cauliflower, does it make your stomach turn? I can't stand it. Uh, <laughs> broccoli, I can eat about anything, but cauliflower, broccoli, that's those are the two things that I can't get. Is it because it just reminds you of something when you see that cauliflower? <laughs> uh, I wish it did. I actually, I love my cauliflower personally. This, this, this is. I think here it's to a stay. great look. Yeah. I mean, it's like a medal to me. But uh, it's a badge the, of the, honor, right? Yeah, but the vegetable it just disgusts me. How about an ear of corn? <laughs> I, can, I can handle an ear of corn, especially in Central Illinois. You got to have some corn. Yeah, you ain't right? got much choice out you, here, do you? You got to be corn fed. But uh, like in a given day, how many calories are you consuming? You know, it changes. You know, during the summer, uh, when guys are trying to get bigger and stronger, we may be uh, consuming four th five thousand calories. Mm. Where uh, when it comes to making weight, we might narrow that down to fifteen hundred, two thousand. Uh, so, so it changes on, uh, depending on what part of the season it is. But it's an is an incredibly strict diet and calories and vitamins and uh, the nutrients are considered uh, when we're looking at what we put in our bodies. I like that retro t-shirt. You're going old school with the, the black eye. I want to say I uh, bought this the first day I was on campus, to tell you the truth. Really? Yeah. Did, down at the yeah. bookstore? Is that what uh, I kind of think it was somewhere down on uh, Green Street. How much did you know about Illinois before you, you came here uh, as a freshman? I didn't know a lot. Um, I got a visit, which was great. Um, so I got to get a bit of a feel of campus, but I wasn't real familiar with the Midwest. I wasn't, uh, I didn't know how harsh the winters were, but uh, <laughs> it's a little uh, bit different. <laughs> the coaches kind of helped me along the way, and uh, they're all here for me to make sure I got through it. Now that you've been here uh, in your fourth year on campus, what does that I mean to you now? Uh, what is the orange and blue, uh, you know, that symbol? What does it mean to you? I really think it uh, means kind of what I was talking about earlier, uh, a sense of community. You know, this community is so uh, uh, invested in its uh the university, you know, it's 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 really is a campus town, and and everyone from uh, the students on campus to the uh, citizens living off campus, they're all Illini fans, they're all Illini uh, uh, supporters, and I think that's really what the uh, that kind of I and that orange and blue stands for, because this is really an orange and blue city. And you'll be an Illini for life. Absolutely, exactly. that'll thanks, never change. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks for joining us on RBI. Thanks for having me. Good.